bright green have insectile features and two pairs of arms. Their bodies are encased in protective chitin, and they can alter the coloration of this carapace to blend in with their surroundings. Hello there, I'm Jake from J&J Tabletop, and in this video we're going to be talking about the Thrycreen player option, which was just introduced in the latest Unearthed Arcana, Travelers of the Multiverse. <laughs> Thrycreen are medium or small sized monstrosities with a walking speed of 30 feet. Never thought to play a monstrosity before. In addition to dark vision, they have a few other features, so let's take a look. They have the chameleon carapace feature. While you aren't wearing armor, your carapace gives you a base armor class of 13 plus your dexterity modifier. Also, as an action, you can change the color of your carapace to match the color and texture of your surroundings, giving you advantage on stealth checks made to hide in those surroundings. They also have secondary arms. You have two slightly smaller secondary arms below your primary pair of arms. The secondary arms function like your primary arms with the following exceptions. You can use a secondary arm to wield a weapon that has the light property, but you can't use a secondary arm to wield other kinds of weapons. You also can't wield a shield with a secondary arm. Sleepless revitalization. You do not require sleep, and you can choose to remain conscious during a long rest, though you must still refrain from strenuous activity to gain the benefit of this rest. Last but not least, they have Thrycreen Telepathy. You have the magical ability to communicate mentally with any number of willing creatures that you can see within 120 feet of you. A contacted creature doesn't need to share a language with you, but it must be able to understand at least one language. Your telepathic link to a creature is broken if you and the creature move more than 120 feet apart, if either of you is incapacitated, or if either of you mentally breaks the contact. No action required. So the Thrycreen? Kind of on par with the Astral Elf and the Auto Gnome, right? Power creep, here we come. Built-in mage armor with advantage on stealth checks. I mean, yeah. And correct me if I'm wrong, but it sounded like you could dual wield and wear a shield as long as one of your secondary arms is just carrying a light weapon. You don't need to sleep, which is cool. That's hardly game-breaking, but that's just really fun. And then you also have telepathy, 120 feet. Move over, Ghostwise Halfling. I think there's a new sheriff in town. But overall, I have to say, this just kind of feels really awesome, right? Like, I mean, you have, you're an insectoid. You're going to have some kind of, like, hive mind thing. So the telepathy makes sense. The extra arms. I think the mechanics fit that, even if it is a little strong. But that's just kind of exciting. I think I might want to play a Thrycreen. Have you ever played a Thrycreen or run a Thrycreen encounter, whether you're in the Spelljammer setting or as a DM in some other game of yours? I'd love to hear about it in the comment section down below. And obviously Spelljammer is coming back, so I'd love to theorycraft as to like what that's going to look like. Are they going to update the setting? Is it going to seem like it has been in past editions? Personally, I'm actually not all that familiar with Spelljammer, so if there's anything cool that you think I should know, please let me know about it. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up because that just helps the algorithm and you'd be doing me a solid. Also, if you like Dungeons and Dragons and tabletop role-playing games and you want some tips to help you get the most out of them, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, get the notifications, never miss an episode. All right, thank you so much for watching, my friends. Take care.